one too. Open for questions. When Rink is shooting like that, how much does that change the entire dynamic of your offense in the half court? Well, yeah, I mean, he, he uh, obviously had one of those nights, and it was fun to see our guys really seek him out. And, you know, as simple as it was, we really were just running a ball screen after a swing, throw the shake pass, get the ball to him in the post, and that's kind of what got him going. They uh, they were switching and, and wanted to uh, to try to get it into the paint. We, uh, we missed our threes early, and once we got the paint established, that's what started opening up. The uh, the three point shot, and it, it was it was great to see Rank. He he just he looked like a different person the last couple of days in practice. He, he had more lift. We do jump testing with our sports science department, and his jump numbers were as high as they've been since December. So we've been careful with him. I know I've talked about that, not getting him too many reps in practice, just to try to keep him fresh for the game. But at the same time, we need to keep him sharp. And he's a guy that is a rhythm player. So, you know, it's really get shots and uh, get him in there, get him up and down a few times, and then, and then get him off get him off his feet just with everything that he's been through. But, yeah, it was really fun to, uh, to see our guys execute. Once he got it going, we've got a package for him, and, and I thought our guys executed beautifully, finding him and getting him the ball in, uh, in the right spots. You talked uh, going into the game about how important winning the battle and uh, rebounding would be. Just how did you see the guys respond to that tonight? Yeah, I, th I thought it started in the first half. I thought we did a good job first to the floor, and we got a couple 50-50 balls. And we talked about it in the locker room. The more physical team is going to have a great chance to win this game. And, that, and Chris Holtman does a great job. Those guys are physical. They guard. They, uh, they're tough. And you know, we talked about they had uh, Rutgers-like physicality. And obviously, we got dominated. From a physical standpoint in that game and you know we talked about it against Northwestern you, you win the glass you're gonna have a great chance to win we said the same thing tonight I think it was 35 to 28 at the end of the day and uh, you know when you do that you're gonna give yourself a really good chance and guys got it going and I told them in the locker room the beauty of this team is it's not gonna be the same guy every night Kase uh, didn't have it going tonight CJ came off and he was phenomenal Sam I thought gave us really good minutes I thought the game flipped with uh, Sam's energy off the bench. Eli gave us great minutes off the bench as well, and he was a big part of those runs that we made out there on the floor. And I think Sam was a plus 23, uh, you know, for us as well. So, you know, guys just uh, continued to go out there, and I thought it was a full team effort. And Josiah, just, you know, the energy he provides for our team. Uh, he gave the post game speech today after the game, and I had to give him the hook to get him off of there. But yeah, he, uh, you know, listen, it was, it was a fun game. And here's the other thing. Our guys, I thought, did a great job responding to adversity. We get down nine in that first half. There was no panic. Everybody kept their poise. And then we went out and finally started getting stops. They, they hit shots early. I think their first four or five. And then we uh, you know, forced them to miss a few. And that's what got us out in transition. And that's what got us confident. You mentioned Sam with his with Wade Thornton was dictating the pace offensively early on. How much did his defense on Thornton change the complexion of the game in the second half? Yeah, it was really important because Thornton, he, he does such a good job using his body. He's a big, strong, physical guard, and he really does a good job creating space with his physicality. And I thought Sam did a better job than we were doing early as far as staying down and making him shoot uh, uh, through the goalposts. You know, obviously Sam didn't have great length, but he uh, did a good job keeping his chest, uh, staying chest to chest. And, uh, you know, once we got it going, I think, CJ, the other thing, when they cut it to three, CJ hit back-to-back -back threes, which were, which were enormous uh, to build that thing back up to nine. <clears throat> and then I thought our guys did a good job executing. You know, the other guy I want to point out, Jamarcus, he didn't have a great shooting night, but he goes out there with six assists and one turnover. So that, that's huge. That's growth. We did a better job playing off two feet, playing with two hands, two feet. When we did play with one, you know, it wasn't very pretty. But 19 assists to six turnovers, that was another big factor today after the last couple of games turning it over too much. You mentioned Rink maybe looked different to you the last couple of days, but how how much did you enjoy when he, he made a nice move early in the game to score and then he hits that first three? Did you kind of think, okay, that's going to get his confidence going? He's, yeah, he's been pretty good. When he when he can make an early one, uh, you know, Purdue, he knocked one down early. Kansas State, I think he had two or three early in that game. And he's had several, uh, you know, one of the preseason games, which seems like three years ago, but, you know, he just – finds a way and he's a that's what I'm talking about being a rhythm guy and he wants reps he's a he's a workhorse he just you know he's one of those guys that always would be in the gym if it weren't for some physical limitations right now with going through the procedure that he had so 
you know, he uh, it was fun to see, but a 34-point double-double, that's a pretty darn good night. Coach, what can you say about the transformation you've seen and the growth you've seen from when he got to the program, where he's at now, and what he's allowed you guys to do? Yeah, I, I just think he's, he's you know, very comfortable right now in finding his spots. And not only what he did tonight scoring the ball, but he's leading us in, in assists right now. And that's pretty impressive when your five man is leading uh, le leading the program in assists. Derek Walker did it for us last year. So it's an offense, if you got the right guy in it, and the thing Rink does that Derek did not is, is his obviously shooting ability. So, you know, having that guy, it's gonna take the big away from the basket. So that's what opened up, I thought, some driving lanes. It opened up some, uh, some cutting. And, uh, you know, Rink's, when he's knocking out shots like that, it makes it very difficult on the defense. I know you're looking to what's next probably, but could you speak to what these last four days of basketball and winning the two games at home, you know, did for this team? Yeah, it, it, was, it was so important after two tough road games to, uh, to come back and take care, of, uh, take care of the ball. And our guys stepped up to the challenge. You know, it was a, that Northwestern, that's a hard prep when you get back at 3 a.m. And, and have two days and have to play a one, one o'clock game on, uh, uh, on, uh, over, on the weekend. So, you know, for us to find a way to bounce back and respond was huge. And now the challenge is, you know, we got to find a way to play with the same type of intensity, the same type of grit when we go on the road on Saturday against a really good team. It's hard to prepare for. Maryland does things that nobody else in our league does with their pressure and their uh, different defenses. Uh, but, you know, we'll have a couple of good days to prepare and put a game plan together, and hopefully we go out and execute. Right. How close was Juwan? To play in um, he, he was close. He uh, he thought about it, and um, you know he just didn't have the confidence at this point to push off. He had a couple good days of workouts, but you know we really wanted to take a smart, long-term approach on this. We've got uh, uh, you know double-digit games left, and we didn't want him to go out there and aggravate it and affect him for the rest of the season. Bryce has been scoring really well the last couple of games, but defensively tonight he was pretty good. Yeah, he's been really good. Um, Mike on the ball. We, we put him on the ball with Bowie and, and with um, uh, you know with the point guards that they had with Orton tonight, and uh, you know he'll probably get another crack at, at Jameer Young on uh, you know for a lot of possessions, and then Jamarcus and Sam. I mean that's obviously a full team effort. You're not going to slow him down with one guy, but you know Bryce. I've been really pleased with what he's done defensively and hit some timely shots, hit some big shots there late to uh, uh, you know to keep the lead. Thanks, guys. Well, player,